Uh, every year, the Global Network Against Weapons and Nuclear Power in Space makes an award, Keep Space in Peace Award, to a particular group or an individual that's actually been working for peace for a long time, for, for keep space, keeping space at peace for a long time. And uh, this year, we're, we're awarding it to the Oxfordshire Peace Campaign. Space for Peace Week, where we announce um, or we ask for people to get in touch with us and tell us what they're going to do during that week to highlight in their area um, the uh, work they're doing for against um, weaponization and the militarization of space. And every year, Oxfordshire Peace Campaign is the very first group to actually get in touch and say, We're going to do this, we're going to go to Croughton. So uh, it's a well deserved award. I'm going to ask. Uh, Nigel will come and accept it on behalf of you. Could I ask a few people who are here to find an open seat to quickly come up? Of course, of course. Yes. Please do. Sally, Jenny, Phil, um, where's Chris. Helen? Chris, 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 Chris. This is a photo opportunity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Burfield. 
So this is where the British nuclear weapons are made. Uh, research is done there and they are constructed, put together and taken apart. And from there, convoys take the warheads quite regularly right past Oxford. About a mile away is the road. They travel up that road right past Oxford on their way to the submarines in Scotland. So we are that close to nuclear weapons. And Margaret and I are nuke watchers and we watch them and we can put our hand out and touch these vehicles as they pass us. So we are that close to nuclear weapons. They're not far away. They are right in our midst. And so we, we need people to realize that these things are never far away. The war machine surrounds us all, probably your countries as well, but certainly here. And so, uh, for example, we try and concentrate looking at those, those bases down at Aldermass and Burfield. So, for example, our friend Angie here, she's organized with Trout and Plyshares, many things, including a peace camp there and a blockade. So we join in things like that. We have colleagues in Reading, a nuclear information service. Peter Burke used to be the director there. And so they published reports on how some of those workers there could be doing much better things. They could be using their knowledge to uh, denuclearize us, but also the rest of the world. So for example, South Africa produced nine nuclear weapons before the end of apartheid, with Israel's help. And what happened uh, in secretly uh, when Mandela came in, we think the Israelis probably stole three of them, but the other six came to Britain on the choir and they were dismantled and disappeared. So that's what these people could be doing instead of building nuclear weapons. So that's some of the things that we concentrate on. The other thing as a group with all our amalgamated local groups here in, in our local area, we keep an eye on Crowton because Crowton is this, been described as the most important American base in Britain because of the way it works and the way it's going to be developed. So we keep an eye on that and we're going to get a, a very good analysis of the whole development and this place in the whole war game from poor mobs later. So we keep an eye on that place because we do their uh, keep space for week. We have our month, a yearly demonstration there in October, but we're there on and off all the time just seeing what they're doing. So we live really in a sea of military things despite living in this wonderful medieval city. So we just wanted to put it in context for you to let you know about this. So the other thing we do, for example, some of us here, are uh, go to the peace camp at Aldermaston, the Aldermaston Women's Peace Camp. So that's a camp that developed from the women's camp at Greenham Common. And they, did, they made uh, uh, those people from Greenham, wonderful women there, have, also have a camp at Aldermaston every month to show these people that they are not forgotten, people are keeping an eye and we have a presence and we keep an eye on what they do there. <clears throat> the other thing that's going to happen in our region, of course, is uh, Mr. Trump. Uh, he is going to visit Britain next month. Now, we are t there's going to be a huge rally, including people from Oxford going down there. But what we understand is he won't be in London at all. He will be seeing the Queen at Windsor and he'll be seeing the Prime Minister at Chequers. And he might be seeing us 10 miles from here at Blenheim Palace, because that's Churchill's birthplace and, and where he's buried. So we will be partly thinking of London, but we will partly be thinking of Blenheim Palace. He'll be that close. So these people are not far away. They're probably in your environment as well, a terrible thing to think of. But here in this lovely city, we are surrounded with this stuff. So welcome here, and let's keep up the good fight. Thank you.